some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have body cam footage uploaded by Harvey Freebird himself. In it, we overhear the conversation of two cops as they discuss frauditors. Then later on, they have a confrontation with Harvey and another frauditor. And it is some P. Barnes kind of stuff. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy watching these cops roast some frauditors. Say that again, where do they want it? They want to move out so they can play the spare cash deal. It's the empowerment that people have been presented with nowadays. These guys feel empowered. They have a couple hundred brain dead little followers on YouTube. And everything that they were have recorded is going to be heavily okay, edited the on, from the, before uh, they put it back on, on the uh, I'm interwebs. I'm moving out, you're ready. Essentially, that is correct. I can't count the amount of times that I've seen jump cuts in any of the videos that I've downloaded from all the frauditors that I've had to do videos on. And that part about subscribers is going to be a subject later on in the video. So stick around for that. I've got a special segment for that one, too. And everybody's like, oh, look at these guys, right. these are tyrants. It's hilarious. Uh, I think that day we were calling Buck Pass, security was coming to get the CPW, just to go the extra mile. And that's when they ran up to the front. My dad's been getting one. Okay, he's been in control of the Tony Angel one, and then Adam Eaton. Got a new business? Got a new business? Got a new business? Got a new business? Yeah, when they put their stuff out on the YouTube, it was, like you said, very heavily edited. Oh, yeah. You can tell while watching their videos that their stuff's heavily edited. But, you know, if you want to show up at film, it's fine, but do it from a safe distance back and we tell you to move back. Oh, Freaking move back, that's all. That's it. Yeah, it's not that hard. I have no problem with you filming. Film away. I mean, we're probably taking a chance standing this close, but, you know, straight bullets happen. So I'm like, if you want to go up in front, go up in front, uh, Phil. No, I don't want to do that. I'm stupid. <laughs> Stay back. David Charlie Farmer, I'm sorry. Which are you? Uh, stupid or smart? Is in the mix up in the gas pumps. I'm going to keep them here. See how you can't go back and service them. Sure could use a menthol, guys. You can tell from my smoke's out of You should move up with the shield. Get your smoke <laughs> out. <laughs> Sergeant dies for a <laughs> Fort Worth, veteran Fort Worth PD sergeant killed while trying to get a pack of cigarettes. Should take my phone out and go in there and start recording them. Where do you I don't know, my personal phone. We just start really enforcing the law every time they step off the curb to put them in jail. They probably knock that stuff off. Now, now, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can, but it's frowned upon. It is frowned upon. Yep. So this is... whole episode will be frowned upon. Yeah, but I don't believe I said anything out of line or just too smart aleck. I don't think you used any foul language. I don't remember using any foul language. And I didn't lay hands on anybody. I did crowd them a little bit with my body. Yeah, I saw that. But it was working. He was moving back. Let's see. Mission accomplished. And then we've de-escalated. See, we're done. No longer an issue. I'll go de-escalate. And they're not even they're not even filming the scene. If they were smart, they'd be over there filming. They're not even here to film the scene. They're here to start confrontation. Yes, officer, spot on. Spot on. There's a whole issue going on over there, and yet they're filming the cops only in the hopes of starting an issue. So it's got nothing to do with journalistic, you know, endeavor. It's that we're just here to cause. They're, I mean, they're filming the perimeter. 
they're not even filming. Yeah. SWAT I mean, or, you I mean, know. There's but, no fancy lens on the, the guy that's got the iPhone on a stick. I'm sure it's, this thing probably looks about, I don't know. <laughs> They're still talking. This has nothing to do with journalism. Okay, yeah, whatever happens is fine. I've just rather than sending you all the way here to send you back there. I'll check in with you before I have that way. Talking about steroids. Yeah. We can just kind of make somebody twist off and just really do something. Yep. They're just down. I don't answer questions. No, but we do test, and that's why guys like you can't apply. And that's why guys like them came in and finished high school either. These guys, man, they're gonna try it. See, now they're not getting the attention that they want anymore. So they're gonna try. Sure would be a bad time for a beat up guy to come through. Sure would be a bad time for a DW guy to come through. Well, Sergeant Porter, whatever do you mean? I thought it was your job to serve and protect the public. And here you are on camera saying you wish a DUI would come through. For what reason? To take out me and Manuel? How dare you? Take me. Take me. Oh, you worthless pile of garbage. He didn't say he wished a DWI would come through there. He said that he hoped one wouldn't come through there. And from that attitude you just had, I take it you've never, ever worked on an accident scene like he has, or even I have. Because that is a constant fear that happens to everybody who has worked on one. And my own father almost was killed by a drunk driver on one accident scene back in 93. You can take that comet of yours and shove it right up where the sun doesn't shine, you fool. Double auto pad. We told him to get back. We were nice cops. We were good cop, better cop. You're just gonna keep it up for somebody snatch. Yep. How dare you? We have two fine journalists across the street. A mistake. Roger. I'm behind the phone. It's behind the pair of nuts. For now, it's one shoulder. Sam Roger, moving to you. Like, how pathetic does your life have to be if this is what you do with your Friday night on a New Year's Eve? I don't know, officer, because I've always had a life. And I've got a good job outside of YouTube that I can easily support myself on. But you know what, officer? 
I don't know what I've been told. Frauditor's brains are full of mold. Come on, let's go have a conversation next time. Dude, I told you to stop juicing, bro. What's that? I told you to stop juicing, bro. I forget that officer right there's name, but me and Manuel were asking him if he was on steroids, and we were kind of giving him a hard time because his upper body is humongous. And that was the first time we'd ever met that officer, but he acted professional on that night, and he's acted professional every time I've ran into him. And turns out, and I feel bad now, but turns out the reason he is so humongous in his upper body is because this guy was a war hero. He had both of his legs blown off, so he's got two uh, prosthetic legs, and that's why his upper body is so huge, because he only works out his upper body to move himself around and whatever else he does. I know, you have no legs. I know. No, y'all are missing the good stuff. You're over here. No, we're watching it. We're just high How are you watching them? You're just. We're just making you're fun of them. Filming on the them. No, we're. The no, good. Two cameras. Legs. The good stuff's happening over yeah, there. Yeah, there's two cameras. Mine's over there making fun of him. And my, my legs aren't that small, though, are they? Huh? My legs aren't that small. Yeah. Watch the crime scene tape. Huh? Don't touch the crime scene tape. Stay law? back. There is a law. law. What's there will that? be a law. What's your name and badge number? We got green? a tire. Green? 3305? Yes, we have a tire. How tire. terrible of me. Tire and green. Yes. How you'll terrible be, of me. You'll be in the news soon, won't you? I'm sure. How long have you been a police officer? 20 years. Do you guys test for droids? We don't answer questions, sir. Oh, you're a public servant. Yes, you do answer questions. I did answer the question that I'm required to answer. And that answer is my name and badge number. I'm not required to answer any other questions. Why'd you walk up to me and start talking? I can't talk to you? You're not talking. You're just barking. Uh, That's what you're doing. Stupid shit. You're not talking either. You, you walked up and said, mouth. get off the crime scene tape. Yeah. What law says I can't touch that crime scene tape? It's crime scene tape. Yeah. Well, I just touched it. What are you going to do? But you got to know, too, like, you can't see my... Because you know you're just trying to start confrontations. That's all you're doing. You're walking over here. You're starting a confrontation. We didn't say anything to anybody until you guys come over here and start trying to bully us. We just asked you to move back. That's not bullying. Well, guess what? We were, we were further back than what we are right now, so don't y'all look real stupid. Y'all put up the crime scene tape and moved us closer. How, how much closer? Like Lord. five full feet? Yeah, five full feet. That's closer, ain't it? Closer is closer. I mean, but you're, you're still you're missing all the good well, stuff. How much education do you have to have to become a cop? I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions. You know what? You're a public servant. You're supposed to answer questions. I did. You guys, I answered the one question that I am required by General Waters to answer. You guys realize that when you agree to be a police officer and get paid by our tax dollars, that you don't have your rights until you're off duty. You're a public servant. That's why you wear that badge with your name tag on it. Mm -hmm. You're a public servant. Everything you do is public information. Mm -hmm. If you pull out, and you're allowed to get it. Exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, so if you need to know the so answers to those questions, question, why you can you, get them. Why would you say something smart like I don't answer questions? Because that's what you say. I'm a citizen. I'm a private citizen. You're a public servant. Correct. I'm a journalist. I ask questions. This is what journalists that do. Makes they you, come out and start confrontation with people. Do you know how bad you're going to look on the internet? Man? I don't really care. You're going to look terrible. I've man. seen. I've seen your internet YouTube. Yeah, the people love tyrants like you. Yeah, the whole 1,000 people that you have following you. Yeah. yeah. You don't know how many people I have following me. Yeah, but I'm not I've a bragger. Seen your, I've, seen your, I've seen your internet page. Good, man. I've seen your page. Then you know that right now, I, I started my YouTube channel three months ago, and I have 7,300 subscribers. So get your facts straight, man. Good for you. Yeah. He started his a month ago, and he's already got 3,000 subscribers. Good for him. How many subscribers do you have? I don't have a YouTube channel. There you go. I'm going to let Vilified Freedom opine on that little issue right there. And I will provide a link in the description to the proper context of the video that he posted that I found this on. Oh, so subscribers make us somebody. I've got almost 20,000, and I'm nobody. You know what? If I had 300,000, I'd still be nobody. I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel entertaining people. It don't make me anything. But let's take a look. See what we got here. 39,000. Oh, and look at this. You struggle to get above 2,000 views. Okay, a few weeks back you got some views on a video. 
Got to go three, four weeks back before you got that again. And then even further back before you got that again. So, what are we supposed to be impressed that you get 2,000 views? YouTubers are not special. I look at them as subhuman. But at the end of the day, anybody who uploads to YouTube, we're just entertaining people. That's it. We're not special. We're not, we're not, we're nothing. And I would like to add on to that myself. In argument and persuasion, there are many fallacies. One of them is called the ad populum fallacy, which basically states that an, just because an idea is popular does not make it the right one. Now, turn that around into YouTube subscribers. Just because you have a shit ton of YouTube subscribers does not mean your idea is the right way. But we all wear the same uniform. I don't see the point. What's your problem, man? I got no problem. You suck like you got a cob stuck up your ass. No cob. Do you go home and beat your... I'm not a violent person. No. That's why I'm not a police officer. No. You know, okay. statistics say uh, over 40% of police officers have domestic uh, violence issues. You know that? Mm -hmm. You know why that is? Because you guys are so because used of people to, like you. You guys are used to bossing and bullying people and and using violence against people all day long. When you go home and your wife doesn't listen to you, y'all be too. Yeah. You guys don't like dogs either, do you? I love dogs. Why is there like thousands of videos on the internet of you guys shooting people's dogs for no reason? Can't speak for every officer. Yeah. You know, there's a huge disconnect between the police and, and the public these days. You have anything? So we should walk around and act like you and start confrontation. <laughs> Can say, no is reason. there anything you would like to say that would might might would uh, help this out a little bit? There's nothing to say. Like you're out on a Friday night with nothing better to do than come out here and start confrontation for no reason. How sad and pathetic is your life? Your guy over there, look, the video doesn't lie. That's why I have a camera. You guys lie on police reports. Everything that comes out of your mouth is a lie. And, and most people know that. Incorrect. But and okay. so you just got caught in a lie because this will be on the internet. And everybody's going to see that you, him and him, walked up to me, got in my face. And asked you to around. move back. Yeah. And I told you that you could continue to record, yeah. but all you have to do is move back. And now y'all put the crime scene tape up and it moves us forward. Well, we can Five whole feet. God, you guys are freaking genius. I know, we're so stupid. Yeah. We're so stupid. Why don't you get back to work, man? You got all I am this at work. going on. As you can see, the people who are actually handling the issue are here now. Yeah. yeah. So you should be filming them. They don't even need you here. Stay man. back. Crime scene tapes up. Uh, hey, reason. Man, look at this shit. And that's where the video ends. At least the part that Freddie Freebird had available. So who knows what the rest of the video shows. It could have been something very unflattering on his part. That's probably why he didn't want to show the rest of the video to begin with.